Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra from the Deep. When we last left off, we were about to breach the sub. And... We've had a bloody uh, battle getting to it. We have lost our tank, and we've had some very, very close calls. But, hopefully... We're now on the winning side. I do want to fire one of these bad boys in here, though. Let's see if we can soften them up. And this is going to be a hell of a needle to thread. Okay. I don't even know where to plant this thing. I, I don't want... I don't want to destroy this ZR bite. I don't care about destroying anything else. But I don't want to destroy our ZR bite. I guess you can launch around as well. Maybe. Uh, it, in theory, will be worth it. But I don't know how many lobster men are in here. I want to soften them up. Oh, wow, we've... Oof. Yeah, we've done a lot of damage in here. Uh, okay, we destroyed some more. At least one more, I guess. Hopefully... Ooh. Oh no, how are you alive? Well, I mean, I, I, uh, <clears throat> I, guess, I, I guess you're not now, but the point still stands. Okay, right, let's end the turn. Oh god! I don't know. Okay, that was a stun launcher. That's fine. Use your stun launcher. Where did that come from, though? You. 74%. Oh, this guy's tough. We fired all those DLP rounds in there. And he's still kicking. No line of fire. Ugh. How can there be no line of fire? Uh, still just the one in there, I guess. Right, he's gone. There's still more, though. Oof. This is rather worrying. I'm gonna say that. Oh! Hi! There. Uh, I guess he, oh god, I guess he panicked, no line of fire, um, how, okay. What's actually there? Oh, cool. Okay, so we've actually... There's three rounds there. So... It isn't a total loss. Oh, God. Well, I mean, he... Came up and punched me in the face. Now we've got three fatal wounds because... Yes. Ow. Um. I'm gonna need you to fall back, turn around, and shoot him. Do you have a med kit? You do. Thank fuck nuggets for that. Can you go? You can't go sit over there. Okay, but you, can you, like, 
heal him up, please? Thank you. Now, is he exposed? Kind of, yes. Right, we're going to need to get our Guardian Angel squad. Oh. To save this guy's ass. Because... No good is going to come of this. Can you... Maybe... Who can you see? Oh, you can see the same one. Can you kill him, please? No, you can't. Who's left? You. Can you kill him, please? Come on, you've got to do this. Oh. And... Relax. A hundred ZR bite. Oh, we actually got quite a lot of aquaplastics for that. We actually got a lot of aquaplastics for that. A good rating. <laughs> oh my god. We got so many stat buffs for that as well. And a hundred ZR bite. I was hoping for 150, but I will take I will take a hundred. Subconstruction, iron beam accelerators, yay, I guess. Oh, we've got three live aliens as well. Um, now that's interesting. So we actually used six thermal shock bombs, which means we have a deficit. But we didn't lose any disruptor pulse ammo. Which means we actually made, at well, we at least broke even. <sighs> let's have a look back at base. Uh, let's equip our sub. We want to put the displacer back in. Okay, cool. Um, if we go to sell sack, what did we actually find here? Wow, we got so many sonic cannons. We don't need those. We don't really need all those power clips as well, but... I don't, I don't like selling ammunition for this thing, you know? Whoa. So we made back all of our Disruptor Pulse ammo. And we kept one of the launchers. I'm going to keep... I want to say we've got four. I'm going to keep all of those. Made so many... Uh, sonic pulses as well. Just like this, just like a cool two million here. Lobster man corpse, get rid of them. Iron beam accelerators. I don't think we need four. Alien learning arrays. We have so much stuff here. We just made like three million essentially from that. That's really nice. Equip submarine. Let's get. We don't need the MC reader. We don't need all those launchers, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, so we actually we actually got plus six disruptor ammo from that. Oh, we've got four on board. Well, we can sell that one then, I suppose. Uh, sonic cannons, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Not bad. I'm actually... Very happy with how that went. Very large, very deep dreadnought. Oh dear. Go get it. Go get it if you can. I don't know if we can. Uh, last known position, last known position, come on. We can take that thing out. Which doesn't look like it. Return to base. That would have been a nice little little juicy bonus there. Okay, very small, very deep. Where's that? Probably just gonna blow that out of the sky. In all fairness. Very small. Ah, MC Disruptor. Yes, the ultimate MC technology. This can only be used by Aquanauts with MC skills. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. MC Generator. I can't remember what that does. Um, right, anyway, let's start. Oh, I think it actually hides your base or something. Right, we need we need some of those. We are going to get MC. We don't want the reader. We want the MC. Where's that? MC reader. Where's the MC disruptor? Wait. Where is it? MC reader. Ah, MC disruptor. Okay. Um, start production. Not enough workspace. Yeah, of course. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. Uh, let's take, I don't know. Let's take most people off that, I suppose. New production. MC reader. Uh, where was that? MC Disruptor, I should say. Start production. We want all of you guys. We want to make like four of those, I guess. How long is that going to take? Two days, seven hours. Okay. Go to base. Um, mm -hmm. Base information. So, technicians, scientists. Sonic defenses, that's fine. We don't really care what we're researching. As long as we're researching stuff. Um, manufacture. Okay. In that case, let's recruit some more technicians. Because why not? Let's get like, I don't know. Another like 50, I guess. It's expensive, yes, but <laughs> unable. Ah, uh, continue inception pursuit. Come on, come on. Uh. Oh yeah, click up here, don't we? There we go. Really. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna one shot this thing. Or two shot it, that's fine. Alright. I guess that's acceptable. General stalls, alpha. Go to base. I need to check base uh, stores. Yeah, we actually got a lot of storage here, that's fine. Tricene terrorist. Tricene. This bipedal reptile is a throwback to the age of the dinosaurs. It seems to be a Cretaceous uh, creature in every sense, save for its ability to survive in water and land. These creatures are slung with weapon pods and have jaws lined with huge metallic teeth. Often these monsters have been at the core of the alien attack force. As the aliens launch an assault upon the land, a heavyweight and potent weapon the Tazuth commanders employ them uh, with lethal efficiency. So, grenades. Um, Epsilon, I believe you told me. Grenades are the way to go with those. <coughs> Let's research tentaculants. tentaculants. Mm -hmm. MC Disruptor. Okay. Allocate manufacture. Get everyone back on that. And start bulking that back up as well. There we go. Cool. Uh, right. So we need to look at our aquanauts. Who has... Right. So H actually has really good MC strength. H looks like H really is the only one at the moment that's going to get one. 
that's kind of disappointing. H, we'll put M, C. Okay, who else? 38, 62. Oof. We don't really have anyone that is that good, to be honest. Got like two MC soldiers, really. Uh, that's fine, though. That's fine. Uh, H, right, yeah, so H can have the MC Disruptor. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. Yeah, we're really building up our money now. Manufacture. There we go. Look at our money shoot up now. Tentaculant. Tentaculant. Not even the depths of a Lovecraftian nightmare could spawn such as this indescribable creature. No comparison to any earth animal exists. The environment that could produce such as this is beyond imagination. Armed with long tentacles. The tentaculant paralyzes its victims and then transmutes them into a mindless into mindless things. Uh, these progeny can cause death on touch, even through armor. The Tentaculan is the most fearsome alien yet encountered by XCOM. Yeah, they suck, to be honest. They really suck. Do not like. Do not like. Look at that money. Look at that. Tazuth squad leader, floating base attack. If XCOM, intercepts sub, uh, if XCOM intercepts subs are being particularly successful in sinking alien craft, the aliens may take some aggressive retaliatory action. This could result in a direct attack against an XCOM facility. However, the aliens have to find XCOM bases in order to attack it. And, provide aliens, and provided alien subs are kept away, then there should be little danger of assault. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh... Let's just keep working these through. Sure. Laboratory at beta. Go to base. Um, I guess we could get some more scientists. We don't really want more scientists though, do we? Oh no, we've got more scientists. Yeah, we just didn't have the workspace for them. And we've still got more scientists. In fact, you know what? Let's just sack those those scientists. Or actually, um, yeah, we'll just get these scientists moved over here. So we want to transfer uh, Alpha. We want to send five scientists. Yeah, transfer. Okay. Um, I guess, actually, let's look at the Aquanauts here. MC Strength 96. Angel. Yes. 86? What? 44. 97. Are you having a fucking laugh, mate? Oh my god, uh, okay. I mean, these guys will improve their MC over time anyway, I think. Because I'm sure they improve every month, but I might be wrong. Uh, in that case... I kind of want these rookies on our side. Uh, Aquanauts. Let's go transfer. Transfer to Alpha. We want you, you, and you. And that's our MC squad. Okay. Transfer. Yes. And then here we need three more soldiers. So purchase recruit. Uh, Aquanauts. Three. So. 
And there's a lot of noise going on outside. Uh, so if I go base information, aquanauts, equip submarines. So once they get here, we do probably want to manufacture new production. Let's get some more of the good armor, mag armor. Start production. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, mag armor. Let's get like five suits of that. Sure. Sure. Okay, cool. So, go to base and we're going to throw our scientists onto the project. That's fine. Tadu's squad leader. The sinking of ships and the downing of aircraft are key elements of the alien strategy. The acquisition of materials is one of the prime alien activities and as such is allied to these overly aggressive acts. The aliens also raid areas of geothermal activity, mining sites and sites of antiquity for minerals and refined metals and other human produced items. I wonder what they want human produced items for. Interesting. Okay. Sonic defenses. Sonic oscillator defenses provide powerful and efficient protection against aggressors. Yeah. Yeah, they do. MC generator, I guess. Sure. Pretty sure that's just a basic building that we can build uh, that hides our... Um, base when the aliens need humans they terrorize a port attack an island or raid a ship civilians will be directly threatened to fulfill the perverse breeding needs of the aliens and their hideous experiments there's a lot of noise coming from outside not sure what that's about all right lobster man navigator pull him apart guys and there are dudes yeah they're the new dudes. That's fine. Very small, very deep. Alright, well. Destroy it. Continue. Come on. Come to Papa. Really? There we go. You're fucked. <laughs> One shot. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Lobster man navigator. Oof, look at that. Terrifying. There is a staggering creature, taller than a man and boasting six limbs. It resembles nothing more than an aquatic demon. The similarities between this creature and the Earth Lobster have earned it the nickname of Lobster Man with the XCOM troops. This is a behemoth of the deep, a carefully designed fighting creature of incredible strength and practically invulnerable to missile fire. Its pincers, oh, to missile fire, hmm. Its pincers alone can crush still the ultimate threat. Oh, we can actually, um, we're like at the end game now, huh. Okay, let's start finishing up our research then. Lobster Man Technician. Fleet Supply Cruiser. These supply vessels... Uh, the supply vessel is used during the construction of alien colonies or for supplying existing colonies. It carries alien nutrients, DNA, fetuses and other biological components. Oh shit. Research complete. MC Generator. Since alien subs utilize molecular control technology to detect the presence of living creatures using a negative MC emitter will blanket a base with an impenetrable shield to confuse the aliens and disguise our presence. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, we could go for PWT defenses I suppose. I mean we're just running out the clock with the research now. Um, Lobster Man Technician, why not? 
kind of tempted to just get some more scientists just so we can burn through this research as quick as we can um, research so we can get 35 more scientists purchase recruit why not I guess not enough living space alright we won't bother then we won't bother then large deep fleet support Fleet Supply Cruiser. Now that we want to destroy. Uh, what we do want. Yeah. Bases. We want to. Equip Submarine. Triton. Crew. Now we want... Where's our MC guys? So, you can get off. You are on. Ensign, that's you. Um, yeah, because we got these MC guys and we kind of want to use them. Ensign. Okay. Armor. Let's check. Aqua plastic armor these guys have. Ooh. Right. Who's on the Triton? Everyone on the Triton, really, we want to have the good stuff. Magnetic iron, yeah, okay, cool. Alright, well that works. Equipment, we want... Uh, disruptor pulse launchers, we don't need any more of those. Disruptor ammo. MC disruptors, we've got four on board. Okay, okay. Let's see if we intercept with the Triton. Where's that going? thought as much is there any hope in hell of us actually getting there I'm gonna say probably not might be a nice little experiment for our sub though no it's out it's out it's done uh, all right that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate. Mag iron armor. Okay, allocate. Go back to building those. Um, how's our research coming along? Excellent. Good. Small. Where? Uh, Barracuda 5 is ready. Go get it. Do you want to get some more missions done? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Got it. Yes, downed. Nice. Well, let's go sort this thing out. Okay, crash site. Right, cool. Let's have a little look here, shall we? MC. So, H, put that down. Grab that. Angel, yeah, you were a beast with that thing. Let's take that off you, shall we? Let's give you one of those. Just so you can defend yourself. You don't need that. You can have one of those. You see? And you can have a med kit. And you can have some ammo. Uh, definitely don't need all of these DLP guys. You need one as well. But that puts you over. Take the medkit off and the grenade. Yeah, you're fine. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's fine. 
Okay. Right. I'm going to end the video here, guys, because we're actually out of time. When we come back, we are going to try our MC. And this should be quite interesting, because I have a mod on that changes the rules for MC. It makes it a lot less bullshitty. So you can't just see an alien and mind control it. You actually have to have line of sight. I don't know if that particular soldier needs line of sight or any of your aliens. I'm not sure. But, or any of your guys, I should say. But I guess we're going to find out in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.